and with thy spirit. The Bacchimianus in the sixth tone, save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Reading of the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his own good, to edify him, for Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached thee fell on me. For whatever was steadfastness, what was written in former days, was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May God, of steadfastness and encouragement, grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Brethren, if the word spoken by angels became steadfast in every transgression and disobedience received a just repayment, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? For it began to be declared by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also, bearing them witness by signs and wonders and various miracles and distributions of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. For God has not subjected unto angels the world to come of which we speak. But one man in a certain place has testified, saying, what is man that thou art mindful of him, of the Son of Man that thou visit him? Thou hast made him a lower than the angels. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor, and hast set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast subjected all things under his feet. For by subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. But now we see not as yet all things subject to him, but we see Jesus who has made a little lower than the angels for suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that through the grace of God he might taste death for all. For it became him for whom all things and by whom all things, who had brought many children into glory, to perfect the author of their salvation by his passion. Peace be unto you, as with all. And with thy spirit. Amen. Jesus, sir. 
surely charge them, see that no one knows it. But they went away and split astray throughout all that district. And as they were going away, the older dumped the money after it was brought to Jesus. When the demon had been cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees shouted, He cast out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and healing every disease and every infirmity of the Anxiety, what's going to happen to us in eternal life? Am I going to be saved? Have I done enough good things? What's your plan, God? And we kind of think that, I don't come open, because we don't live our lives according to God's commands. Some days we're good, some days we're bad. Some days we're very helpful to our neighbors, other days we kind of ignore them. Conventional wisdom says that there's a line that is in our spirituality, that when you go above the line, you're doing God's work. When you fall below the line, not so much. And that conventional wisdom of today's society says to us, it's all about timing. If you have a good day, and you go into God's work, and you die, you're going to heaven. If you have a bad day, and you're not doing God's work, oops, sorry, you get a big slip. Can you relate to that? But that's not how God is. You already knew the answer, I know that. Humor me. God doesn't work that way. God's mind for us to be saved is way below that conventional wisdom line. Because he says in the Gospel of St. John, I have come that all may be saved, and that not one of you will perish. Not, no one will snatch you away from me. Okay? Read the Gospel of John. And how do we know that? What's the proof that God ensures that we're going to be saved in him? You heard the Gospel of the parable this morning. The two blind men, right? They follow Christ into the house. So that's the first clue that we're going to be saved. We have to be active. We've got to do things to follow Christ in our life. And as soon as we do, boom! He says to them, like he says to us, do you want to be healed? He says to us in our prayers, do you want to be healed? Yes, Lord. Do you believe I can heal you? Oh, yes, Lord. And then we're healed. Then what did he do? He went out into the crowds and through all the district there. And he had compassion. He was moved 
for all the people that were lame and sick. And he healed them all. Why would he do that, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if he didn't believe in us? The answer is because he loves us. And he does believe in us. And what's our response to that? As Orthodox Christians, what's our response? We can't pick and choose how we want to follow God. Never good. We like to do that. How many times I've had people say to me, yeah, well, you know, I just hope God takes me on a good day. No. In God's perspective, He always wants us to have those good days. We are called to follow Him. We are called like blind men to do the work necessary to get close to Him. In prayer, in fasting, in holy confession, in holy communion, but also, as you heard from the Epistle of St. Romans, of, of Romans today, by looking out for the good of the other in our lives. That's what it takes. Then we can say with 100% certainty, I was saved by Christ, I'm being saved by Christ, I will be saved. Yeah, 
conditions and preserve those who are the afflicted. Let us all say with our hearts and minds, Lord have mercy.
Christ Christian, the flowers benefactors of this holy mountain of the halls. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. His grace of the Bishop in the young who preached to the African Christ. <coughs> For those who encourage and ask the boys, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The first of our country and all civil authority to armed forces and members of our royal family, our parish and our council, and all our churchful families, may the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Thus, sick and soft, may now those who are less gods, and worth of being to pray for them, especially the servant of God, the Archpriest George, his family, friends, and loved ones. May the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever, unto ages. Those who are afflicted, especially the Amnid and Allah, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, unto ages of ages. All of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox before this life before us, and take and help with the resurrection. Especially those who depart from the coronavirus, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, unto ages of ages. All those in the world who have no one to pray for them, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh, 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 oh.
begotten by me, I will answer to the Father, but I call on you to the name, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven as a divine and holy spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us in the conscious Pilate, and suffered and preserved, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again from glory to judgment at the end of the day, his kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord of your life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will glorify, who spoke by the prophets, and one and only Catholic Catholic saw the Church, I acknowledge my baptism for the of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's stand the right, let's stand with fear, let us stand, now with all the oblation.
Give peace to thy world, to thy church, and to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to all thy people. There be good gifts, there be perfect gifts from above, and we doubt the full of light. But to thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever to ages of ages.
Special birthdays to mention. Of course, our beloved twins, Daniel and Dana, who are here on Friday. Of course, we heard Salvation's birthday yesterday. Friday. 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 And today. And, and Wilson. And who? Wilson. You'll know. Just Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any other announcements or special things? I have a question.